The following is presented by Four Sixes Ranch, a division of Burnett Ranches, the 2013 AQHA champion breeder and co-champion owner. Fastest qualifier, Big Dashing Perry. In American quarter horse racing, nothing stays the same for very long. The Toby Keaton barn was bitterly disappointed at Kiss My Hawk's failure to make the All-American Futurity. Oh, it was unreal. It, uh, I tell you what, you got to pick the owner's heads up, your heads up, and the grooms, and we spent a lot of time and effort to get where we got today, and, and it, was, it was hard, it really was. But one day later, Keaton sent out Big Dashing Perry, last year's Firecracker Futurity winner, who had only been in the barn about 60 days. There, running off a step slow, Hurl done one. Turbulent Times came away fast with Downside Magician and Runaway Jester. And into the outside is Big Dashing Perry. And it is Runaway Jester battling away with Big Dashing Perry, Downside Magician, then Cruz in Turbulent Times and trying to pick up ground, Hurl done one. Big Dashing Perry and Downside Magician, Big Dashing Perry from Downside Magician. The winning rider was G.R. Carter, who followed up his four Futurity qualifiers with three for the Derby. Big Dashing Perry hangs a time of 21.184, which would stay atop the leaderboard all day long. He is the son of Mr. Jess Perry, who stands at the Four Sixes Ranch. The gelding is owned by a partnership, which includes Dr. Tommy Hayes, Bobby Barnett, and Grant Farms. And he appeared to relish the derby distance. That horse is probably the only horse I've ever had in my life that's a, what you call a true 440 horse. About 350, he just hit another gear and went on, and that's that's the kind of horses you need in them kind of races. He may also have saved the trainer from drastic action. I think that old horse knew I was fixing to hang myself, so he better run a big race for me.